Welcome everybody back to another episode of the Dizzy Cap Car Show and today we've got a real treat for you today. I got in contact with a fellow called Colin who's got a properly wicked little car and I had to show you guys around this one. This is a little Ford Anglia 105E with a hell of a twist to it and a really cool little story. So with no further ado, let's get into it. Let's go meet Colin and check out this proper little weapon. Right guys, we made it out um, to the Silver Fox Cafe um, just up the estuary. Uh, it's a really, really cool spot. There's some really cool uh, events going on throughout the summer. Lots and lots of bike stuff, quite a few car stuff as well. So please make sure to go and check them out on social media as well. So thanks to them for having us along for the intro to this video. And welcome to the channel, Colin. Well, thanks so much for, uh, for much. bringing this absolute machine yes, out. Yes, no problem. This is such a, <laughs> this is such a wicked car, such a wicked car. Very brief rundown of your sort of car history, your first car, a couple of your um, favourites that you've owned. My, my first car was a 1500 GT Anglia back in 77. Nice. Uh, arch car. Always been into modified cars. Um, had 13 RS 2000s, RS 1600, into hot rods as well. Got an Anglia estate, also got a, a four pot van hot rod. Yeah. Um, just love cars. Love cars. Just love cars. It's a really, really uh, iconic little shape. Yes. This car. There's, yes. there's not really much else out there like it, is there? They're, 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 they're lovely little cars. I also like 105 uh, 100Es. Yeah. The little 100Es. Um, I've had a couple of them as well. So it's just like having cars. And I love Fords. Yeah. I'm a Ford man more than I am anything else. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know what I mean? I just love yeah. little Fords. There's a really cool community around yes. Fords and especially yes. classic Fords. And as we say on this channel all the time, it's about the enthusiasm for the cars isn't it? Yes. And I think if you get together with someone who's got a 105e completely concourse factory original, yep. you're going to have stuff to talk about. Yep. Do you know what I mean? Yep. And it's like you say, it's about keeping on the road and yep. you guys, the owners, having fun and doing well, what you want you, with them, you know? Most weekends I do a show. Yeah. I go somewhere to breakfast meets all through the year, winters and all. Yeah, yeah. So, like, they don't get stood. Yeah. They get used. <laughs> you only got to look at it to see it gets looked after. It definitely, <laughs> definitely looks very, very cool. You know what I mean? You can't afford not to look after them because at the end of the day, they're going to let you down, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, yeah. So. guys you will probably notice that this is not a completely standard little 105e no uh what what's the story behind this particular car you had this a couple of months did you i've say? had it a couple of had about four months now it was built by a man called mike howell he spent 18 years building it and he put in excess of forty-eight thousand pounds in it yeah the the money that was put into this car everything was brand fire new yeah, yeah the only yeah. thing which is not new is the shell yeah you know and then he sold it yeah. And I just think there's something wrong there. Maybe but... he's one of the one of those that just does it for the project. Wow. He absolutely he loves reckons the he'll never do another. Yeah. That's yeah, what yeah. he's doing. And he's done like Cosworth Anglias and all. Has he? Oh yeah, yeah. 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 He's he's yeah. done a few Anglias, but like I mean, I sold another vehicle that I had and I was looking around and I wasn't gonna buy nothing else and I seen this and it just had to come on. I put more mileage on it now than what the man who built it in yeah. like four months. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's testament to you and your enthusiasm well, yeah. for it and getting oh, yeah. out and about if, though, isn't it? You know, if it can go out, it goes out. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. I'll drive it in the rain, in the sun, whatever, it don't matter. Yeah. What you might not be able to see from the camera, or you just make them out, is these really cool arches. Very cool alloys, which are hiding some pretty big brakes. Yeah. I can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah We've got brake do. servos in the, all the... Behind the dash. Behind the dash. Behind the dash. We've got a nice little roll cage. So, it's I mean, cool. this this is uh, obviously, we're here, it's road legal, but this is built as a... In a sense, a circuit racer. This is a circuit racer, yeah. In a sense. Yeah. In a sense. He, he's, he's, he's street legal, he's MOTs. <laughs> you like sat on the ground very near and yeah. it just sits the road like no tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. You were so. saying there's some funkiness with the gearbox. You've got straight cut one, he's, two, three. He's straight cut on first, second and third, and he's helical on fourth and fifth. Yeah. That is such a cool setup though. And yeah. like perfect, yeah. isn't it, for, yeah. for this sort of car. 
I mean, sprint track wise, you won't get above third anyway. No. So, so at the end of the day, the straight cut, the strength in the box is in the right places. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. yes, yes, it's, it's prop, fair play to the like Mike who built it. I've had a few chats with him since I bought the car. Yeah. About like what he's done to it and all the rest of it. The list is endless. Yeah. Like, I, I bet. forgot half of it, but it's endless. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, just, yeah, you need to write it down. You know, <laughs> just a lovely thing to drive, really. Yeah, yeah, I bet. You know, I bet. But, I bet it gets some serious attention. It gets some looks, yeah. 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 It's, it's enough of the classic Anglia, but with enough of enough of a the twist. modification enough on, of a twist. on show. Yes. Do you know what I mean? You know yeah. there's some at Hayden here. Oh yeah, yeah, it's hiding some that. We should <laughs> <laughs> it's hiding somewhere. Which we will get onto yeah, yeah, in a little yeah. while. But oh, it's absolutely yeah. wicked. It's such a wicked looking car and really clean. So bodywork wise, these are all steel panels. Everything on the car is steel. The whole car is steel. There's no fiberglass. The only thing which is polycarbonate is the side windows. Yeah, I was just going to say. Yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> the, the side windows and the rear sides are both polycarbonate. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, glass front and back. Which is legal, which yeah. has got there, it's got to be. Yeah, yeah. Fair play is a testament to him. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. is a testament to the builder, I'll tell you that name. And I'm just, all you are really is, you're just a very lucky owner, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. You know yeah. what I mean? It's just a toy. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's a nice toy to have. A very nice toy yeah. to have. You know what I mean? <laughs> very nice toy. I absolutely love it, man. Absolutely wicked. Shall we have a little go? Yeah. Can we have a little spin? Yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah. would be wicked. Yeah. Mate, this is wicked, isn't it? Uh, just proper, proper toy. Under the bonnet as well, you'll see how integrated it is. Okay, nice. <laughs> and in the boots. I look forward to showing you guys what's under the bonnet because it's not a uh, not a standard bit of Anglia engine, is it? Uh, it's not a 998. <laughs> <laughs> Has this been dyno? No, not yet. But it's going to be. What do we think? We've got, a, we've got an estimation. I was told she's 240 bhp. Oh, and she's got a way about. 803 kilos. <laughs> well, I don't know, there's a bit more with me in it. <laughs> I'm definitely not helping matters either. <laughs> I mean, that's full on kick car territory. Like, yeah. Patron, yes. Power to wait. I've had a few chats with a few Patron owners. Yeah. And they're turning around and saying the same thing. I was talking to one who runs an Ayabusa. Yeah. And he turned around and he went, fair play. He said, that must be lethal. I said, it is. I said, you. It's got to be sensible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you know the car and its ability, you, you drive in it. Yes. You drive in that yes. menu. That's all it is. It's back in our teenage years when we're unrespectful. But unrespectful of that and the issues today. Yeah. This is absolutely mental. I mean, this is quality. I'm just trying to take it all in. What an experience. <laughs> it's a machine, isn't it? <laughs> Just as comfortable, or just as just as easy to drive on roads like this, and it'll sit on the motorway all day long with motorway traffic. Really? Yeah. yeah. yeah it'll sit there all day long. Yeah. It's just as happy doing this, and you can drive it 
the mate revving the, revving the hell out of it. Yeah. Um, just drive it sensibly like an everyday car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you want it to go, it goes. It does. I mean, it feels like you like you're saying stupidly normal to be to be sat on the road for what it is. You expect to have broken back and yeah. not be able to hear each other and all that sort of stuff, don't yeah. you? But it's, it's genuinely really like comfortable and nice to drive. Comfortable. I mean, it's yeah. about, it's just confusion. <laughs> It's not, it's not a Merc, but no, no. Uh, it's as comfy as you're going to get, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it revved to nearly seven. Yeah. I thought it's a revving, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I bet it's howling at their mind. Yes. <laughs> What's good about it, you're getting probably 30 to the gallon out of it. This is the thing. It's just like modern engine. Compared to my old stuff, yeah. this is like brilliant on fuel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, like, it's like it's not running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying originally when I was looking at the uh, Zetec engine with the Capri, is the fact that yes. you're, you're going to be getting a little bit more sort of reliability from the more modern engine anyway. Yeah. A little bit more economy out of it anyway, as well as having more power. What a machine! <laughs> it feels planted and low, isn't it? You feel like your bum's rubbing on the ground. It is. <laughs> How much lower is it, do you know? Um, with a standard angle. It makes three and a half inches lower. <laughs> That's enough then. That's enough. <laughs> Where I'm short, I can wash the roof on this without no hassle. Oh, no! <laughs> but in a sense, it's made for roads like this and circuits. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? I mean, this is, this is awesome. We're through the forest, these, these roads have been recently redone. Yeah. And it's such a nice place to be on a day like this. When you're not fighting potholes and all that sort of rubbish like normal. Ah, uh, drives your mad potholes. I bet it's not very in this at all. Just as, like just as well I don't pay road tax, is not it? Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't complain. <laughs> oh, you must be so chuffed with this, man. When you've got this. Try it back to your place after you bought it. Oh, oh my god. If you watched this far and enjoyed the video, why not give us a like? You'd be quality. Level up by dropping a comment down below about the car, the show, or the video. That would make you absolutely awesome. Why not join us at the Dizzy Heights and the Dizzy Cap Legends by hitting that subscribe button and joining the community. Now back to the show. It makes it so nice to drive. Yeah. If you want to play, you can play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It felt pushed to just under seven before she hits the rev limiter. Yeah. Um, it still feels like it's got plenty of power up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So you still, so you still pick her toes up. Yeah. Really nice noise as well. And because it's on throttle bodies, you've yeah, got, you can really hear that, can't you? Yeah. You, you've got the responses. Well, it's like running a set of forty points. Yeah. That's the difference. It's just noise. Yeah. Yeah. There's a couple of cars that have been really noticeable. I've been out with uh, last summer. I went out with a uh, Mark III Cortina. He had a uh, oh, what they call it, the Lima engine, two point three. Yeah, and he had throttle bodies on that. And I tell you what, it's just that little, yeah. a little roar you get. You didn't get with anything else. The lovely noise hindered by traffic today. <laughs> oh, <I don't> like. <laughs> but, <laughs> What's it? Difference is they're probably going to work, aren't it? We end. That's it. <laughs> <laughs>
just gives you a real sense of occasion, doesn't it? Yeah. For the for the fact that this thing is uh, made for fun. That's what it's about. <laughs> this is what it's, it's about. Made, it's made for fun. <laughs> made for fun. Thanks so much for bringing it out, man. I really appreciate Not it. No problem. It's uh, it's awesome of you guys that have already volunteered and come out and for for Colin to bring this car out. And, but just to have a couple of hours having a little look around them, but it is a charity really of you guys who are willing to bring these cars here. out. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely lovely spot to come and have a little stop at and have a little look over the actual uh, bonkers amount of work that's gone on here. So take us through the engine itself. The engine's a two litre Jawatec. Yeah. Um, he's on Gen V throttles. He's been played with. Yeah. Um, it was a Schola race motor. He's on solid mount. Uh, he's coupled to the five speed box. Yeah. Um, the exhaust system is bespoke. Did Mike, you might make the exhaust system? No, no, the exhaust like system was made by somebody. Yeah, okay. Um, it all goes through the inside of the car. There's nothing underneath the car whatsoever. So it's a two litre Duratec, the basic lump. Yeah, two litre Duratec is the basic lump, which is like the Mondeo motor. It was done, the motor was brought from Schola race engines. Yeah and, yeah. and this, fair play to him, this drives, apart from the steering being a little bit heavy, this drives spot on. When I first got it, the tracking was all over the place. Yeah. And I spent two or three hours in Chris Mullins's in Gloucester. Yeah. And they let me put my own settings in it and try it. Yeah. And then go back and alter it again, all for the same price, which you can never ask for yeah, better. Yeah, nice. Yeah, so yeah. I know now I've got him as near as you want it on caster camber and all the tracking is right. And it's made the car a totally different animal again. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's just nice. Yeah. It's proper. People knock this stuff up, don't they? And they don't think about them handling. Yeah. You know, well, you've got to make them so that they handle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? And this does. This yeah. this will sit there like it's on rails. Yeah. So outside of the engine, I mean, this is this is full full rebuild stuff, isn't it? Yep. We can see the wheels either side. Sport full space frame. Yep. Uh, it looks quality. I really like the grey detailing. Yes. Sort of runs throughout the car, doesn't it? Yes. Well, it's Ford blue. Um, yeah. And he's Volvo silver on the roof oh no nice. i think the silver and the silver and blue go together it does it yeah, complements yeah. each other and, and it, the fact, I mean, even the, this, the yep. frame going through yep. the bulkhead and stuff yeah running through those colors as well it's just yep. absolutely wicked isn't it bonkers so we can also see at least the wheel tubs in the back yes because <laughs> this is the same i mean that that frame runs the whole way through the car doesn't it yes yes and again we can see He's turreted, on here, turreted then... on the back end. Um, as you can see by the back axle, she's six linked. Yeah. She's on your four bars, and then she's on a watch linkage on the back end, which is what keeps it planted. Yeah. That is a brilliant setup, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Proper, proper, proper job. Again, needed really with the build of yes. the car. Yeah, yeah. That's incredible. But even with the exhaust coming up inside the boot, it's still not that noisy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you definitely you would expect it to be noisier than that. Yes. Yeah, for but sure. it's quiet. It's quiet. What a machine! Battery tray out the back. Fuel pumps, race tank. Love it. <laughs> Love fuel, it. Gauge. fuel gauge. Fuel <laughs> gauge. <laughs> Got to have a fuel gauge. Got to have a fuel gauge. <laughs> <laughs> have you um, had or has it been in uh, magazines and stuff yet? I don't know whether it has been in any magazines i've been trying to find out i think it has been in fast forward yeah but i haven't been able to find the magazine to try and get a copy of it oh i see so because if i can i will get copies of like uh, where she was in fast forward yeah it's all, yeah, yeah, all yeah. to do with the history isn't it it'd be nice to have for sure yes. Yeah, yeah yeah yes that's a that's a shout out point guys if you can find this anglia duratec powered anglia in a classic forward well any magazine any magazine any magazine please make sure to comment below get in touch with me Dizzy or, or any at, or any pictures taken it shows yeah, cool. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I keeps all the pictures of all my cars. Yeah. You know what I mean? So send them in. Send them in. Send them in. Yeah, we'll get get in contact with Colin. That's absolutely quality. It's just, uh, yeah, it's bonkers. My Capri, I'm 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 keeping um as near as to standard. Well, interior wise. Yes. Yeah. Because I want to take the kids out and yes. stuff in it, and that's my only classic yeah. car at the moment. 
So this sort of build, I mean, especially all this stuff, is so far outside of my yes. capabilities and stuff. It's just awesome to see it. It's uh, proper craftsmanship. Yes. It's art form. It really yes, is an art it's form, proper, isn't it's it? It's proper, like, if people look at this when you pull up, and unless they have a good, proper look around it, they don't realise the work that's gone into this Yeah, plant. exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? It's, Which it's, is quite nice. Yes. It's, it's a nice you know little... Oh, it's nice to sometimes you pull up and they don't even notice the little arches on it. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. What I mean, yeah. but like, I yeah. mean, it's like the front, the, the wheels are nine inch, and like people look at it and they probably think, oh, they're like five and a half, but they're not. Yeah, yeah, they you know go all mean? the way in. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> right, guys, that's been Colin and his absolutely wicked little 105E. Um, club wise, uh, the crews. There's, there's a group in Gloucester which do classic cars, hot rods, um, all sorts of stuff, really, called crews. Yeah. Um, it's just a local group, really, which like go out to meets and all the rest of it. Yeah, and yeah. People want to join as long as they're into cars. Um, One to go look out for. Yeah. Facebook you, page for those. Is that yeah, fa Facebook, Facebook page, page for yeah, crews. Yeah. yeah, there's Facebook foods for, for crews. Yeah. Uh, and that's about it, really. Yeah. Cool. You yeah, know? yeah. Yeah. And just like thank you very much for having the time to do this. Don't be daft. Thank you, know you for I mean? coming it's out. Like, it, well, it's, it's <laughs> car related, isn't it? So yeah, you do yeah, wait. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, it's been absolutely wicked it's... to have you on the channel. And like, just to see the, the extent of work and stuff that's gone into this car yes. is, is next yes. level. It's absolutely you know? amazing. And and like, the car is a proper, in my eyes, it's a proper little weapon. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. And that's the only word you can describe it as, as a weapon, really. Yeah, yeah. You know? So you're going to make sure to keep us up to date on a power run. Yep, yep, on yep. On a uh, yep. drag I'll strip it... if you do one. We'd love to know the sort of yep. times and stuff that it gets. And yeah, just a massive thanks for, for bringing it out to show us. I've really enjoyed yeah, it. That's not and a problem. it's amazing to have a look around. So you guys, make sure to um, have a little look out for this at shows. If you do see it, if you've seen it out and about at shows, you've got pictures of it, or you've even clocked it in a magazine in previous years, please make sure to get in touch with me, dizzycapcarshow at outlook.com, and I'll put you in contact with Colin so you can transfer that. He absolutely loves to have a nice big file of yes. stuff, don't you, from, from the car. So that'd be absolutely wicked if any of you have got that. Um, and I'll catch up with you guys for a little bit of an outro in a couple of minutes treat to see. I really enjoyed my day out with Colin going to have a little look around at Anglia and to see the level of work that's gone into it is absolutely incredible. Something that I can only ever dream of realistically. Loads of bits and pieces as always going on with the Capri in the background. It's been out to a couple of recent shows and bits and pieces but as I've mentioned in my previous video there's quite a lot of bits and pieces and changes going on in my life at the moment so it is sort of stuck around indoors with not much going on at the moment but engines are coming at some point in the not too distant future. So keep your eyes and ears peeled for updates on that. I'll try and keep you up to date with the power runs, the Santa Pod drag strip times and stuff that uh, Colin gets over the next couple of months and year or so as he starts to take it out a bit more to those sorts of bits and pieces. But as always, and yet again, please a massive shout out and a massive thanks to Colin for bringing out his car to show us all today. Now on to the YouTube board of fame. We've got Marcus Hayes, we've got Mark 2 Mitch, we've got uh, Nick Proof Certified, we've got 92 Automotive and we have got Project Freelander, all channels that I support. So up today is another wicked conversion of another wicked little classic Ford and that is Mike the Mechanic who's got this quality little Mark 1 Fiesta and he is doing a ZTEC conversion on that at the moment. So as well as this one, I have got this sticker from Mike the Mechanic. Now, Mike the Mechanic does some absolutely quality videos. He does lots of very in-depth stuff about the ZTEC conversion that he's doing at the moment, including the cost, cost breakdowns, all the little jobs that he's doing. He's just about managed to get that up and running uh, and on the road for a couple of shows this show season. So that's absolutely wicked to do. A massive congratulations to you, uh, Mike. Also on your 100th video, which I believe happened very, very recently. And as of today, that's filming this. He's just done his first live stream to celebrate that 100th video, which is absolutely wicked, a quality milestone. Keep the absolutely fantastic content coming all the way from Sweden in fact uh, where he has shown us the midnight sun loads of absolutely wicked stuff on his channel go and check it out all the links to these guys down in the description below as always thanks again to Colin thanks so much for you guys for stopping by it's been absolutely wicked to see you again for this episode make sure to do those bits and pieces it really helps me to grow but the main thing you can do is hit that subscribe button but also the notification bell which will keep you up to date with all the future uploads on this channel and I cannot wait to see you again on another episode of the Dizzy Cap Car Show